हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ए पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर कपेंद्र फ्रॉम किरोडिमल कॉलेज यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ दिल्ली टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ मॉड्यूल टेरेस्ट्रियल इकोसिस्टम पार्ट वन फ्रॉम पेपर प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ इकोलॉजी आफ्टर स्टेडिंग दिस मॉड्यूल यू शैल बी एबल टू डिफाइन टेरेस्ट्रियल इको सिस्टम लर्न द मीनिंग ऑफ फॉरेस्ट इको सिस्टम describe different types of forest ecosystem understand the importance of forest ecosystem all terrestrial habitats are naturally quite different from aquatic habitat the amount of water determines the habitability of a particular landmass besides water the sustaining foundation of all terrestrial life is air or indirectly soil like like air soil is itself a home for vast majority of terrestrial organisms by creating the conditions necessary for survival of all other terrestrial organisms soil becomes a major agency which transforms terrestrial environment into life sustaining habitats the physical conditions such as temperature wind humidity sunlight of terrestrial environment are not as uniform as in the aquatic habitat terrestrial ecosystems in their natural state are found in different types of forests grasslands semi arid areas and deserts forest the word forest is derived from the latin word forest meaning outside the reference being to village boundary fence and must have included all uncultivated and uninhabited land the forest ecosystem includes a complex assemblage of different kinds of biotic communities optimum conditions of temperature and ground moisture responsible for the growth of trees contribute greatly to the establishment of forest communities the nature of soil climate and local topography determine the distribution of trees and their abundance or sparseness in the forest vegetation forest may be evergreen or deciduous they are distinguished on the basis of leaf into broad leafed or needle leafed conifer forest in the case of temperate areas characteristics of different types of forests are described below types of forest the forest of the world have been classified into the following major categories conifer forest tropical forest and temperate forests all these forest biomes are generally arranged on a gradient from north to south or from high to lower altitude the first type of forest is coniferous forest these forests are found in cold regions around northern hemisphere with long winter and very short summer with which restrict the growing season for few months these forests are characterized by evergreen forests such as spruce pine trees fir and having needle shaped leaves which is transcontinental for example in central europe norway spruce covers the slopes up to the subalpine zone in the carpathian mountains and the alps in north america coniferous forests cover the rocky sierra nevada wasatch and cascade mountains at higher altitude in the rocky mountains engelmann spruce and sub 
alpine fir are dominating species. The largest area of the vegetation on earth is formed by the boreal forests or taiga. It is the Russian terms which means land of little sticks. It is situated at high latitudes of the northern hemisphere where cold edge of the climatic range that can support forest and occupy 11% earth's land. The forest is present at the point where climate conditions are unfavorable for deciduous or evergreen temperate forest. Here the temperature is on an average above 10 degrees Celsius. The taiga extends in the northern part of North America and Eurasia to the south at higher elevations of the mountains as subalpine forests. The taiga is formed by three zones of vegetations. The first forest tundra ecotone having lichens, stunted spruce and moss. Second open lichen woodland consists of lichen and black spruce. And third is the boreal forest. The dominant trees are evergreen firs, spruce and larches or pines in most areas. In some areas deciduous trees of populus and betula form dominant species. Species richness in these boreal forests is low. The forest is close canopied and tree reaches to an average height of 20 meters and longevity is around 200 to 300 years. The ground is covered by club mosses, dwarf shrubs, true mosses and lichens. The vegetation is reduced to open pine woodlands in arid mountains, box or muskex in humid community toward the timber line. The characteristic animals are caribou, moose called elk in Eurasia, pine martin, snowshoe hare, the arboreal red squirrel, quill bearing porcupine, lynx and owls. In addition, several ecologically important insect species are also present in the forest including spruce budworm, the taiga also forms the nesting ground for migratory neotropical birds and also habitat of several species of birds such as crossbill, siskins and grosbeaks. In general, trees are shallow rooted with predominant ectomycorrhizal association. Soil largely belong to the spodosol soil order. Decomposition is very slow. As much as 60% of all carbon in an ecosystem remains locked up in humus due to cooler temperature and the short growing season. The litter formed from conifer needle is degraded very slowly and is not very rich in nutrients. These soils are acidic and deficient in mineral nutrients due to the movement of large amount of water through the soil without a counter upward movement of evaporation. As a result, some essential soluble nutrients like nitrogen, calcium and potassium are leased beyond the contact of roots. Thus, productivity and community stability of boreal forests are lower as compared to any other biome. Temperate deciduous forest. The temperate deciduous forests are 
moderate climate forests characterized by moderately humid conditions with a marked short period of cold season and an annual rainfall of 75 to 150 cm the plants of these forests bear broad leaf which is shed in fall season and remain bare over winter after that in spring new leaves are formed there is no clear division of dry and wet seasons and growth period is around 4 to 6 months long the species richness is high in these forests and shows a wide range of species diversity temperate evergreen forest many parts of the world have a mediterranean type of climate which is characterized by warm dry summers and cool moist winters these are commonly inhabited by low evergreen trees having broad leaves in woodland trees are essentially lacking although shrubs may ranges up to 3 to 4 meter in height fire is an important hazardous factor in this ecosystem and the adaptation of the plants enable them to regenerate quickly after being burnt the characteristic animal of temperate evergreen forests are mule deer rabbit wood rat chipmunk lizard etc temperate rain forests the temperate rain forests are giant forests occurring in cool climate than other rain forests with winter rainfall and occur at high altitudes than tropical rain forests they exhibit a marked seasonality in temperature and rainfall the average rainfall is high however heavy fog may actually represent a more important water source than rainfall itself a belt of mixed coniferous rainforests along the pacific coast of north america from oregon to alaska is a typical example they are called rainforests not because of rain throughout year but due to the fogs which provide water to leaves in dry summer the biotic diversity of temperate rainforests is high however it is much lower as compared to their warmer counterparts the redwood trees in temperate rainforests of the pacific coast attains height of 60 to 90 meters with some tree reaches up to 100 meters the 10 genera of largest trees are found in the pacific north coast conifer forest abies kemesaperis larix calocedrus picea pinus thuja and sunga the sitka spruce forest of alaska are dwarf unlike the tropical rain forest species richness is low the above ground standing crop average 2000 tons per hectare longevity is more than 500 years and may reach 1000 years other temperate rain forests such as nothofagus of south america and southern hemisphere conifers in northern new zealand are not that tall australian temperate rain forests 
of eucalyptus regnans are perhaps the tallest in the world temperate evergreen forests show varied structure in response to varied climates they occupy species with evergreen sclerophyll leaves dominate in less humid maritime climates in california the mediterranean region and southern australia on the other hand needle leaved evergreen forests occupy large areas in continental climates of the western united states the mixed forest of cedar redwood with pine fir and incense cedar in the sierra nevada is another representative of evergreen forest in the united states in the eastern asia evergreen forest occur where soil conditions or fire frequency or both favor pines in chile southern hemisphere conifers dominate temperate evergreen forests while in australia eucalyptus prevails in india temperate evergreen forests are found at high altitude in the himalaya and are dominated by conifers the oak forests of himalaya are also evergreen the animals of temperate rainforests are similar to those of deciduous forests but show a somewhat higher diversity tropical rainforests these forests are evergreen having broad leaf that occupy low altitude zones near the region of equator these forests are among the highest diverse region on the earth these regions have high temperature rainfall and humidity which favors rich biodiversity dry season in these forests are either very short or totally absent the annual rainfall exceeds 200 cm to 225 cm and uniformly distribute throughout the year these forests are found in south and central america africa southeast asia and north australia largest tropical forest is found in the western ghat trees are tall which may reaches the height of 50 to 55 meters in height the flora of the forest is more diversified having 300 different species of trees per square kilometer the vegetation of the tropical rain forests remains vertically stratified trees generally forms five layers first scattered very tall emergent trees that project 50 to 60 meters above the general level of canopy second layer is the canopy layer which forms a continuous evergreen carpet 25 to 35 meter tall third layer is a lower tree understory stratum 15 to 24 meter high that becomes dense only where there is a break in the canopy fourth layer is poorly developed shrubs and young trees in deep shade and fifth layer is a ground layer composed of tall herbs and ferns many of them have buttressed root which may reach 
as far as 9 meters up the trunk. Many species are similar with one another in a way that it is difficult to distinguish them. They have generally similar oval medium sized leaves with drip tip. Three or more strata are distinguishable with large woody climbers or lianas extending from the ground to the canopy. Orchids, epiphytes and stranglers are abundant. Strangler figs are hemi epiphytes which germinate on the branch of the tree then rapidly grows down the trunk of supporting trees up to the ground and enmesh it. As the strangler fig roots thicken, they weaken the secondary growth of supporting long trees, which is eventually strangled and killed. The canopy is concentrated with species unlike the temperate forests, where more species in the undergrowth invertebrate fauna is also very rich, striking in color, size and adaptations for defense by mimicry and other means. Mammals and reptiles are predominantly arboreal and nocturnal. Birds are present in great diversity in the upper strata of the rainforest. Decomposition is rapid and nutrients rapidly mineralized may be immediately taken up by surface root mat having well developed mycorrhizal association. The tropical rainforests are being exploited for subsistence agriculture, timber harvest and extraction of non-timber forest produce. Timber harvest is a source of valuable timber like mahogany as well as firewood. Elfin woods in a tropical biome occupy the subalpine belt of mountains of Africa, South America and New Guinea. Because of high elevation, the climate is cold but because of low latitude, seasons are not sharply distinguishable. Rain, fog and clouds are constant features. Because of the latter, they are also called cloud forest. In elfin woods, evergreen broadleaf shrubs or small trees show a characteristic thicket like growth with contorted branches and low canopies. Branches are festooned with mosses, lichens and ferns and when dense the hanging mosses make the stands visually and physically impenetrable. Thus overall impression is of a miniature rainforest. Soil of Tropical rainforests are red lettosols and they may be very thick. The high rate of leaching makes these soils virtually useless for agricultural purposes. But if they are left undisturbed, the extremely rapid cycling of nutrients within the litter layer, which is formed due to decomposition can compensate for the natural poverty of the soil. The common vertebrates of tropical rainforests are the arboreal amphibians, Racophorus melabaricus, aquatic reptiles, chameleons, agamid, geckos, and many species of jungle cats, anteaters, giant flying squirrel, monkeys, and sloths. Fruit and termites are staple food for animals in the tropical rainforest. That is why birds are often abundant in the forest, such as fruit eating parakeet, tokens, hornbills, contigens, 
स्ट्रोगोन्स एंड बर्ड्स ऑफ पैराडाइज आर हर्बिवर्स ट्रॉपिकल सीजनल फॉरेस्ट ट्रॉपिकल सीजनल फॉरेस्ट आर फाउंड इन रीजन्स वेयर टोटल रेनफॉल इज वेरी हाई बट सेग्रीगेटेड इन टू प्रोनाउंसड वेट एंड ड्राई पीरियड्स दीज इंक्लूड मॉनसून फॉरेस्ट एंड सेवरल अदर फॉरेस्ट कम्युनिटीज सेमी एवरग्रीन और डेसिडस इन लीफ हैबिट्स दे अकर्स इन साउथ ईस्ट एशिया इंडिया साउथ ऑफ एमेजॉन बेसिन इन साउथ अमेरिका Africa on both side of equator northern australia and west indies in exceedingly wet tropical seasonal forests commonly known as monsoon forests the annual precipitation may be several times that of tropical rain forests teak is often a major large tree in the best known tropical seasonal forests of india and south east asia bamboo is also an important climax shrub in these areas the annual rainfall is generally high but majority of it occurs during a short period of the late summer generally from mid june to mid september in the monsoon eliminate monsoon climate thus the dry season is quite long depending upon the moisture availability communities may be semi evergreen or totally leafless during the dry season but species which shed leaves with the onset of dry season begin to leaf out and flower well before the end of summer drought trees are usually 30 to 35 meter tall but become shorter in dry climate where forests are also reduced to open woodlands the net primary productivity often reaches 15 to 20 tons per hectare per year and standing crop 200 to 500 tons per hectare in india these forests occupy extensive area in the central highlands and deccan peninsula the tropical dry forests have infertile soil the major land use of this biome are timber harvest grazing and agriculture due to over exploitation for long time and population pressure only a fraction of the tropical dry forests have remained in their original state less than 2% of the dry tropical forests remain intact in central america and are one of the most threatened ecosystem of biosphere tropical broadleaf woodlands and thornlands these are composed of small trees which replace tropical seasonal forests in area toward drier climates canopy may range from a closed one to open scrub with or without scattered trees leaves of the trees and shrubs are large rigid semi evergreen branches are markedly twisted and have thick fire resistant bark in broad term cerrado occupies intermediate position between seasonal forest and thornwood importance of forests for men forests have been a source of recreation and the development of his culture and civilization forests provide many products such as essential oils medicinal plants resins tracer silks etc tropical countries have particularly abundant timber and hardwood resources forests have great biological importance as reservoir of genetic diversity in addition to regulate earth's climate forests provide habitat and food 
as well as protection to wildlife species against extremes of climate and help in balancing carbon dioxide and oxygen of the atmosphere forests enhances local precipitation and improve water holding capacity of soil regulate water cycle so students let us summarize what we have learned in this module all terrestrial habitats are naturally quite different from aquatic habitat terrestrial ecosystems in their natural state are found in different types of forests grasslands semi arid areas and deserts the forest ecosystem includes a complex assemblage of different kinds of biotic communities the forest ecosystem has been classified into various categories arranged on a gradient from north to south or from high to lower altitude coniferous forests are found in cold regions around northern hemisphere with long winter and very short summer and are characterized by evergreen forests temperate deciduous forest is moderate climate forest characterized by moderately humid condition with an annual rainfall of 75 to 150 cm temperate evergreen forests are found in warm dry summers and cool regions these are commonly inhabited by low evergreen trees having broad leaves temperate rainforest are giant forests occurring in cool climate than other rainforests tropical rainforests are evergreen having broad leaf that occupy low altitude zone near the region of equator tropical seasonal forests are found in regions where total annual rainfall is very high but segregated into pronounced wet and dry periods tropical broadleaf woodland and thornlands are composed of small trees which replace tropical seasonal forests in area towards drier climate forests have great biological importance as reservoir of genetic diversity apart from playing an important role in regulating earth's climate forests provide habitat and food as well as protection to wildlife species against extremes of climate and help in balancing carbon dioxide and oxygen of the atmosphere forests being home of wildlife are important assets of aesthetic touristic and cultural value of the society 